Thank you, Jennifer. Turning now to an important issue. January is National Slavery and Trafficking Awareness Month. Statistics sadly show that Ohio ranks very high as a place for trafficking. Many people wouldn't think that we here in the Midwest would be so susceptible, but we are. Coming up in just a few weeks, New Life Church International is hosting a special event that will not only bring awareness to this cause, but also open a door on how you can help. Dancy Muller joins us now in Faith and Friends to tell us about Marlene Carson and Rahab's Hideaway. Well, I am so pleased to welcome Pastors Charlene and Darnell Williams, who are joining us from New Life Church International. You have uh, an important speaker coming up that, it, that will address a topic that seems to be more in the spotlight and in the news right now, but still so many of us want to pretend it's not a problem locally. So, um, Pastor Charlene, will you tell us um, what we can expect on January 12th? Thank you, thank you for having me sure. and my husband here. Um, I am having a speaker, Marlene Carson. She's from Columbus, Ohio, and uh, we will be addressing the issue of human trafficking. Mm -hmm. uh, an issue that, like you said, many times we want to ignore, we want to pretend like it's not happening, um, not even in our city, but the truth of the matter is it is here, it is happening. And so we decided to bring Marlene uh, to be a speaker. And she herself has been the victim. Yes, ma'am. She has been a prostitute for 10 years in the whole human trafficking arena. So she has really been firsthand in feeling the emotional trauma, the abandonment, the hurts that come with this issue. Mm -hmm. And so she's going to be the one that is able to speak to it. I've heard Marlene speak and it brings you to tears mm -hmm. to see what young women are experiencing today right in our backyard. Pastor Darnell is, is um, the head of a, a church locally. When you have um, some of your congregants who come to you and, and have such deep hurts mm -hmm. like this, and the betrayal, mm -hmm. and, and the shame mm -hmm. that probably comes from yes. um, sexual violence, how do you counsel them? Mm -hmm. How can you possibly lead them back mm -hmm. sure. to their walk with Christ? That's a great question. Um, because there's so much that's involved with that mm -hmm. in terms of the guilt, the shame, the embarrassment, oh, yeah. the fear, mm -hmm. uh, even punishment legally. And so the church has to be a place where we welcome, where we become a point of refuge for people. I think we have to also address the fact that there's a place for spiritual counseling yeah. and then there's a place for professional counseling. Okay. And yeah. so we really have to help people heal their mind and their hearts and their emotions and then you have to get them prepared to re-enter life again. Yeah. Right. So there has to be some type of skill training and development. And that's one thing that we were impressed with Marlene Carson is yeah. that she brings that dynamic of saying, we, once you get rescued out of human trafficking and sex trade industry, what are you going to do? Yeah. yeah. What, what do you do now? And so her ministry really targets that second half of the question, yeah. Yeah. not just bringing them out, but what happens after that. Right. Yeah. And Pastor Charlene, um, Marlene has a, a haven yes, that yes. she has founded. Is this yes. in Columbus? Yes, it's in Columbus, Ohio, and it's called Rehab Hideaway. And it is that like, almost like a transitional home that she really takes the young ladies and work with them and help them to get reacclimated to society, um, getting them back in school and teaching them life skills and building up their hope emotionally and otherwise. And then um, having Christ, of course, be the center of it all to bring them back to the place where they once were or maybe would have liked to be. Right. Uh, it's starting so young too. It's oh, starting know. at 10 years old now. I so know. these kids don't have even life skills. And sometimes their parents you know. introduce them to this world yeah, as well. Yeah, so yeah. Um, uh, Marlene will be speaking on Sunday, January 12th at 1015 in the morning yes. at your church, yes. New Life Church International. Anyone welcome? Everyone. Everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome. We would love anyone in our city that um, can speak to this or have some kind of interest in this to be a part of it and to see how we can step out and help our community. Very good. 
Well, we are out of time. Thank you so much for bringing this issue to the forefront and bringing Marlene to our community as well. Thank you Thank for you. having us. God bless. Back to you.